Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this spooky, silly it themed pop-up birthday card to share with you. To get started, I'm going through a stack of stamps that had images that I had in mind for building this scene. I'm using the cake stand from Bake With Love. I love turning this into a little side table. Next, a cat, because I like cats and I thought a sleeping kitty would be very cute for this scene. I'm using a few stamps from my screen time stamp set, both of the people, the TV or monitor, snacks and the cables. At first I couldn't pick a desk to use and turn into my TV unit. I ended up picking the stamp from Virtual Friends. I used some snacks from Small the Merrier, the lamp and books from Den Sweet Den, the couch, cushion and window scene from Window Scene Winter. This adorable balloon from Elfie Selfie. Every time I look at this cute little stamp, I either think of the red balloon from it or the little balloons attached to presents that float by an Animal Crossing. Once I'd picked my stamps, I then stamped them out. I don't really show it in my videos anymore, but I do still typically stamp all of my images twice to ensure nice thick, bold and dark lines, which makes it nice and easy to colour in. I'm currently using Memento Black ink and it has been magical. Colouring in today, I'm obviously using a very limited colour scheme. Monochromatic cards used to really scare me almost as much as this movie did, but I've had a little practice now and I think I'm getting the hang of it. I've noticed a few of these markers are starting to wear out and run dry, so if you've got a good suggestion for preferably cool toned grey Copic markers, I'd love for you to leave me a comment below. I think I might buy myself a set so that I can keep making these cards. Making this scene was a lot of fun. In all honesty, it's one of those card ideas that just popped into my head and I couldn't focus on anything else until it was out of my head and in my hands. I'm not even a horror movie fan. I used to be a long time ago. I'm not sure what changed, if it's just age or since I've had kids, but it was like a switch flipped and I just can't enjoy them anymore like I used to. I have seen the two recently made It movies though. My poor husband quite likes horror movies, but it really takes me a lot of working myself up to being able to sit through them. I think he's been waiting over a year now for me to agree to watch the sequel to A Quiet Place. I'll get there eventually, but the first one really creeped me out. I remember when we were watching the new It movies and we were like 10 minutes into it and I turned to hubby and said, weren't the originals made in like the 80s or 90s? Surely this will be just as cringy. Nope. All, all of my nope. Those words had barely left my mouth before something horrific happened in the movie and I was so done. Like 10 minutes in, I think I hid behind a cushion for a good chunk of this movie, much like the little character in this scene will be doing. Great story though, I'll give Stephen King that, such a fantastic, creepy and imaginative storyteller, but gosh his works, they just give me the jeebs. So let me know in the comments what's your favourite horror movie, if you can stand them, or what was the last horror movie you saw that made you call it quits on the scary stuff? I didn't want to make this card too scary. I don't have anyone to give it to yet and it's going to be sitting in my house so I really don't want to be stumbling across nightmare fuel in my sweet little craft space. But I thought the little red balloon was just enough. If you've seen the movies or if you haven't and are familiar with them, seeing that little red balloon just kind of lets you know that big terrible things are going to happen. It's just that ominous a horror movie sign. So I thought that was enough.
Now that all of my colouring is done, I'm going to add my white highlights before chopping all of these images out. I've chopped out so much from plain black cardstock today. My two base pieces for the pop-up platform, the little tees to assist with propping up the scene and my window frame. I did notice someone on the Lawn Fawn design team had used the window frame on a pop-up platform recently. I wish I had watched that tutorial before making this because I think they'd place their window in a different way that worked better. We can talk about that soon when I get to that part. I splattered some white gold and red watercolor pigments all over my base pieces. I had to wait ages for them to dry before assembling this week as for the second time this year we're experiencing copious amounts of torrential rain in Queensland. Not as bad as earlier in the year in our area, but having the same issues of literally nothing drying, towels, clothes, floor and my crafts. So here I'm trying to colour in my curtains. I found this a bit tricky to be doing all in grey. I think I should have gone a bit darker. Here I am quickly assembling the base. I feel like these are pretty straightforward at this point. I've just noticed with the weather making the house so dark, my black cardstock and the black craft mat, things are a bit tricky to see with this card. Or maybe I'm just going for that extra spooky feel. The next morning we had a little sunlight and I'm using this time to ink up the back of a piece of pattern paper. I want the front or spider side to be the wall for this house. Very fitting if you know the story. And I just didn't want the other side to draw any attention to itself. I glued my creepy red balloon onto my window scene before adding the frame and adhering it to the back wall. And then I added the curtains. I knew with the size of the window that I was going to have to score the window so that this back piece could still bend and fit into place along the back of the pop-up scene. 
I think in that lawn fawn tutorial I mentioned they had propped the window up on one of the tees rather than sticking it onto the very back. I could have made that work and saved myself some stress if I had watched that tutorial. Now it's time for me to start assembling all the pieces for my scene. I prefer to assemble them flat and allow them to dry before propping them up on the tees so that they're adhered well and they don't slip. I hadn't planned my sentiment for this card and had a last minute epiphany. I risked it all by deciding to heat emboss directly onto my practically finished piece. I thought worst case I can add some cardstock over the top but it all turned out okay. I went with the sentiment floating by to say happy birthday. If you're familiar with the movie, the sentiment will make perfect sense. And with that, my spooky it themed card is complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with a horror loving friend and subscribe if you haven't already to see what weird stuff I make next. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.